person I ever felt for She was the only one I could adore She was the only person I ever expressed emotions to Sure she was beautiful but I wasn't with her just for the What's going on guys? Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create a zoom transition using Premiere Pro. So I'm going to be showing you both ways. One way you can do a zoom in transition and the other using a zoom out transition. There's no plugins required. We're going to be using a built-in effect with Premiere Pro and then we're just going to be working with some keyframes. Let's get to it. So here we are in Premiere Pro and the first way I'm going to be showing you is the zoom in transition. So as you can see on screen I have my two clips side by side just like this. The first thing we're going to be doing is left clicking the left clip. Then all we're going to be doing is using some animation with the scale. So first thing you're going to do is come right to the end of your clip, just use this bar up here and toggle the scale animation. So just select that clock next to it. Notice this diamond will be laid out, that is a keyframe. Now this next step is completely optional, there's no right and there's no wrong way of doing it. It just depends how quick you want the transition to happen. So to do this, all you're going to be doing is selecting this button here, and then pay attention to this number here. And you choose the number of keyframes, or even if you want it to be a whole second, um, it's probably over the top though, but I'd say a maximum of 15 keyframes, and a minimum of three keyframes. So that just depends on the speed. Of course, the higher the number, the slower the effect will be. So I'm gonna pick eight for this one. So I'm gonna to go to 15. And some reason, skipping 15, so I'll go to 14. And all I'm gonna do right here is select this button. As you can see, that says add or remove a keyframe. So that's set up, and then we're gonna to come to the end and select this keyframe. All we're gonna be doing is scaling all the way in. So just bring up that scale like that. Then we're done for this clip. We're gonna be onto the next clip. So what we're gonna be doing is essentially the opposite to what we've just done. Instead of being at the end of the clip, we're gonna start at the beginning of the clip. And once again, we're gonna to toggle the animation. And then usually I would recommend that you match up the keyframes from the last one. For example, on the first clip, if you went back five keyframes, then on the second clip, go forward five keyframes. So hopefully that makes sense to you. And I chose, well, I was going to do eight, but I ended up doing nine because it skips a number. So I'm going to go forward to nine keyframes. And all I'm going to do here, I'm going to press this button here. And all we need to do is add a slight zoom in. So not too harsh and not too much, because of course, doing this zoom in, you will be cropping out some of your video. And it does need to be done in order to achieve the effect. Now, believe it or not, it's done. I'm going to play it through for you. That's what we get. As you can see, it's really simple, really slick transition. And of course, if you get the right videos to use it for, it works really well. For example, this video here, it naturally shakes, which just makes it look a lot better. Now there's one more thing you're gonna be adding on, and all you need to do over here is right click, new item, and select adjustment layer. From here, select okay, and just drag and drop this onto video track two. So what this is going to be is making a blur for us. So you can choose how long or how short you want it to be. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now what I'm gonna do is match it up to where I started and stopped the transition. So this is where it started, and this is where it ended, so I'm just going to trim that down. Next thing you're going to be doing is heading over to effects, then you're going to be selecting video effects. And from here you want to select blur and sharpen. And then from here you can choose from either Gaussian blur, directional blur or compound blur. Or even camera blur. These are the ones I recommend. I'm just going to keep it simple and use Gaussian blur. I'm going to drag and drop this onto that track. Then as you can see it will appear right here, so Gaussian blur. All we're going to be doing, first of all, is select Repeat Edge Pixels. So make sure that's ticked. Then on blurriness, you want to toggle the animation. Then come to the center of your clips. So just zoom in and come to the center, which is right there. The blurriness, you want to bump up quite a lot. Then go to the end of that clip and simply reset it. So you just select this button here, drag that to the end. And that's done. So what it's going to do now is blur in as we zoom and then refocus as the other transition finishes off. So playing it through. 
as you can see that's now what we've got super simple super quick again that step is optional it just depends if you like to use it or not so that's that way done now i'm going to be showing you how to do it with the zooming out transition it's very similar let's get to it so starting with the clip on the left the first thing you're going to be doing is making sure toggle animation is off then you want to press the down arrow and first of all you want to have a zoom in already on so depending how much footage you can afford to lose just zoom in now of course the more the better however it's not essential even just a slight zoom will work as well so once you've done that you then want to toggle the animation on the scale then come across to the end lay down a keyframe same steps again you go back a desired amount of keyframes so i'm just going to go one two three four five six seven eight and all i'm going to do again is lay down a keyframe now on the very last keyframe you're going to select it and just select the reset button then moving on to the next clip you're going to do the exact same thing you're going to be starting off zoomed in this one you can start off quite zoomed in because it won't really make a difference toggle the animation and go forward the amount of keyframes you've just moved back so i'm going to go eight keyframes forward and all i'm going to do is reset parameter believe it or not this is now done so i can play it through that's what we get notice it was a very very slow main reason for that is because we picked eight keyframes so that's this distance here if we bring that in just make it a bit quicker you'll see this is now what it'll look like just making it a bit quicker and then of course you can go ahead and add on that blur which i showed you earlier i can just simply drag this one over position it into the center playing it through that's now what we get and that is it that is how simple it is to create the zoom in or the zoom out transition in premiere pro